Milken is proud of the 90% accept or defer rate for early admission and early action, and the exceptional results in every type of college, including Ivy League schools, liberal arts colleges, California schools, as well as large private and public universities. In the next segment, three of our seniors will share about their college process in a panel moderated by Eli Chevalian, our new charismatic director of college counseling and academic planning. Eli came to us with a master's in public administration focused on higher education from USC. He worked in college admissions on both sides, high school and university, and he serves on the board of the Western Association for College Admission Counseling. Please welcome Eli and the students. All right. Thank you, Dr. Shulkin, and uh, welcome everyone. Tonight we'll be talking with these three amazing seniors, and we're going to focus on their priorities, their feelings about the college search and application process, and what advice they might have for future Milken students. Tonight we are honored to have Spencer Davis, Kobe Isaacson, and Sophie Porbaba. Can we get a round of applause for our panel? Yeah. So I'd like to start tonight's conversation about uh, focusing on priorities thinking of all the priorities that go into the college search process. Size, location, cost, prestige. Uh, Kobe, which characteristics were at the top of your list? You know, I, growing up to a Jewish school my whole life, I've been in class sizes that I've been like, you know, 19 kids. There are only 46 kids in my graduating class out of Sinai, and I knew I wanted to go to a mid to big size school. I wanted at least 7,000 kids at my school, and I just wanted to meet as many, like as much people as possible, and I want to be able to be exposed to new opportunities and new experiences every day. In addition to that, I want to go to a school that's full of students who are talented, passionate, and driven to make an impact. So I think that's driven like my college list. Yeah. Amazing. So focusing on size, the culture, the people, the social aspect, all of those pieces. That, those are your priorities. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, the next question is going to be for Sophie. So. Thinking back to your high school experience up until this point, uh, what were you focused on? Uh, what did you do? How did you participate, get involved to help you prepare for the college search and application process? So coming into high school, I already had many passions that I knew I wanted to pursue coming into Milken. And this is kind of where I showed this sense of consistency as a student. But then as far as my academics went, I really didn't know what route I wanted to take it. I didn't know what I was interested in. So this is where I really showed this sense of variety. So coming into high school, as far as my extracurriculars went, I kept going with soccer, I played volleyball, I joined the school orchestra, chamber ensemble, I started taking violin more seriously. And these are all things I have been doing throughout my whole life that I knew I wanted to continue coming into Milken. So this is that consistency that I was talking about. And then as far as my academics went, I took psychology courses, economic courses, music courses, none of which have anything to do with each other. But this is how I really found out what I was interested in and what I want to pursue going forward. I love that. So really trying to try out new subjects, try out new classes, see what academic areas you like, but knowing at your core the activities that you really are passionate about and being consistent in those. I think that's really beautiful. I want to dive a little bit deeper into the process. And Spencer, this question's for you. What was the most meaningful or interesting part of the process? And how did that contribute to where you chose to apply? I think the most meaningful part of the process was honestly finding out who I am as a part of all of it. When I came into Milken, I think I did a similar thing to Sophie. I really tried everything. And I went through and I took all the different classes and I took all the different extracurriculars. And so then approaching junior and senior year, I had to discover who I was amidst all that trying, right? What was I devoted to? And then from there, I had to figure out what I wanted and what I liked out of a college experience. And so discovering my college list, I realized that I really enjoyed journalism. So I started looking for journalism schools like Northwestern or Syracuse. And though those schools are bigger than I would have initially expected, it was that process of self-discovery that really helped me with those factors. I love that. So really looking inward, the introspection, your values, your thinking about who you are and how you want to navigate the world. I, I, really, I really love that. Uh, we're going to look ahead a little bit, okay? So each of you are in very different parts of this process. Some of you have heard back from schools. Some of you haven't heard back from schools. How are you feeling right now, and what are you looking forward to? I want to start with Spencer. 
I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm waiting on a lot of decisions. So that's sort of exciting and scary all at the same time. But you know, a couple years ago, I took positive psychology with my college counselor, Miss Epstein, and that really instilled in me like these great sort of values of like looking ahead and not focusing on the exact moment of happiness or sadness because at the end of the day, it's all a part of a larger process. So though a rejection might feel sad and an acceptance might feel happy in the moment, I can be confident that at the end of the day, I'm going to end up somewhere that I enjoy. Thanks. Thanks. For yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, Sophie, same question for you. How are you feeling right now and what are you looking forward to? So like Spencer, I also don't know where I'm going, which obviously carries a lot of stress like with the unknown, but I didn't apply anywhere in California, which I know a lot of the parents in the room are going to disagree with me on. <laughs> But I'm excited to leave. I know I'm going to be going out of state. I'm excited to sort of gain my own independence and really find out who I am as an individual without having the backbone of my family and my friends here in LA 24-7. So I'm really excited about that. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Finally, Kobe. How are you feeling right now? What are you looking forward to? I'm feeling very optimistic like them. I still know for sure where I'm going, but I recently got into USC for biomedical engineering. So, thank you. So, I know that even though if other places don't work, I have USC and I'm like super excited no matter what. I know my parents are very happy to be in LA. And so, <laughs> I've gotten one rejection from an outside school and they were so happy, but <laughs> um, I'm glad I'm making them proud and myself proud. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So we always talk about making the most of your high school experience and how every step of the journey counts. What do you think is important for younger students and parents of those students to hear as they start thinking about the college search and application process? Sophie, can you start? Something that I always tell younger students is to really milk milk in for all of the opportunities that it has to offer. Um, I don't think many people realize how many opportunities this school has, clubs, community service, different organizations, and what I tell students is that you're not going to realize it now, but once you start getting into this college process, all of this is going to feed into that. Colleges want to see that you can have a balanced schedule. They want to see that you can be a leader in a type of club. They want to see that you participate in sports. They don't just want, it's a holistic review of everything. They don't just want to see how you are in the classroom, but they want to see how you are as a person. So. Thank you. Yes, yes. I'm curious for you, Spencer, what advice might you have for younger students and their families? As I was saying earlier, Sophie and I have a really similar mindset about trying new things. But I think over the past few years, I've had to narrow my focus. And I think that that's a super important part of the process as you go on, right? So you're going to try in freshman year, try in sophomore year. And then when you reach junior and senior year, you want to narrow and figure out what you love and where you want to devote the most effort because things are going to get harder. And so you need to make sure that you're devoting the most effort to the things that you really feel passionate about. Nice. Thank you, Spencer. Yes. And finally, Kobe, advice. Yeah, I think there's two main things. I think the first one is finding a community outside of your immediate like social circle. So that's whether that's joining a new sport and making friends with that, joining an orchestra. You know, Spencer and I are part of this uh, student organization known as Junior State of America, and I've made friends with so many people like across the country. So I feel like finding a community that's not just your friend group and building and accomplishing things with that community is just so like meaningful. Uh, in addition, figure out an academic subject you're interested in, in like 10th to 11th grade, and start pursuing that in an advanced fashion, something that's beyond what a high schooler is expected to do, and really dive deep into that. Awesome, thank you, thank you, Kobe. So this has been amazing to hear directly from all of you. Um, I personally did not have the honor of working with you individually, but it's been so great to see you grow over the course of this past year. And no matter where you end up, East Coast, West Coast, LA, anywhere, um, I'm really excited to see what the next chapter has in store for you all. So can we give them a round of applause? Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.